today on Destination Polaris. We're off to the California desert. We hit up a ghost town and uncover the smallest city on the planet. Destination Polaris starts right now. Destination Polaris is presented by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Welcome to Destination Polaris. We are in the Southern California desert. Pretty awesome, huh? Base camp is below me right there. That way is the desert. Are you ready? Everybody copy everyone online, let's go. Let's stay together. Roger that. Halfway between Los Angeles and Las Vegas sits Barstow, California. In Barstow, you stop for food and gas. But get off the highway and you'll discover so much more. I'll get to the next turn and I'll be sitting there waiting for you. Keep radio contact going. Copy? Copy that. A SoCal desert run wouldn't be any fun unless you brought along good friends. And I invited some of my best. Greg Cottrell, owner of Regard Radios. When we need some help, we just hit the siren. We'll handle the comms. Back here, we should just speed up a little bit. You're driving a little slow. Really? Trevor Kaplan of SSV Works brought the noise. And Marcelo Danzi from Assault Industries rolled out with his Project X car. And we couldn't make this trip without Dave Kusky from Fullerton Sand Sports. Dave's gonna be our guy. Someone have coordinates of that place? You know where you're going, right? Come on, catch up. You're back there somewhere. I'm in front of you. Most of our ride takes place 45 minutes north of Barstow near Razor Road. Yep, that's right. There's actually a place called Razor Road. Now we're here at Razor Road, which uh, again, I mean, the backdrop is beautiful. You got hills, you got mountains, desert, you got shade, which is, <laughs> this is good. Three miles down Razor Road is where we've set up camp for the week. You know, that's the funnest thing about coming out to the desert and camping, bringing all the toys out, Stay in a couple days, waking up, you know, we group together, we eat something, we get ready, and we just take off right on the trail right from camp. It doesn't get any better. Roll out of Razor Road, and you'll hit the Mojave Trail. You can literally take the Mojave Trail clear over to Nevada from here. It's a 100 miles. It's something where you have to bring fuel, fuel stops. It's just amazing because you get to go through some great terrain, great different scenery all along the way. Dave should know, he's been coming out here for over 40 years. Yes, I'm dating myself. It's beautiful. It doesn't get as busy as some of the high profile places. It's a little more remote. 
A lot of the people don't really like to get out into those real remote areas and real backwoods style riding. And that's something that just intrigues me. You know, when you're out running around on these trails and just a few of you, it, it's just the best thing in the world. That's one of those things that you guys at Destination Polaris love to do is have us take you out and show you new sites, new places. You've got our attention. Where are we headed? All right, we're going to get out to a couple destinations and get to see some really beautiful, cool terrain. Stick around because when we come back, we discover a mini Grand Canyon. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Super ATV, your trusted source for high quality parts and accessories. And by Aluma Trailers, the best aluminum trailers available. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. We're on the Mojave Trail, just north of Barstow, California. Greg, let's head out to the sand dunes and go run around some bowls, have some fun. Sounds good, sounds good. One thing I totally did not expect to see on this trip was sand dunes. But just a few miles from camp, sat an untouched half pipe. Yeah, out of nowhere, right? Just one big giant bowl. Let her rip, boys. Nothing like glamorous, but there's a lot of people that come out here, and the guys that come out here are just ritual guys that just, this is the only place to go to. Trevor from SSV Works couldn't wait to throw some sand. It's the maiden voyage for his custom razor. This is Equalizer for 2017. It's doing great so far. It's nice to get her out and stretch his legs and the wheels and tires and this terrain. I mean, it's just, it's just a really well put together package. We built the craziest vehicle that we possibly could put together. It's got two 15 inch kicker subwoofers in the back seat. So the base goes where we go. Jack up the music, Trevor, cause the guys from Rugged Radios came to play as well. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better trips. If you work at Rugged, then you don't get to play much hooky. All the events that we do throughout the year, I think we're up to like 86 being the event manager. I mean, it's like I'm at events pretty much every weekend. This is the very first time Steve Bouchard's had the beach buggy in the sand. It's just a whole different experience. I drove a lot of razors. Driving this beach buggy is an absolute riot. Bumping to Steve on the trail or at an event. This is pretty epic, this is good. And that smile never leaves his face. When people come up and you work on their vehicle for, you know, 45 minutes, an hour to diagnose a problem, and then they ask what I owe you, and you say, nothing, just a handshake and a smile, thank you. That's right, show up to an event or race, and Rugged will fix your communications for free. And that's the best part about working at Rugged. It makes our day when other people are happy, and it has literally built Rugged to what it is today. After a few hours in the sand, we made our way down the Mojave Trail. I'm gonna run up on top of the dunes and uh, take a look out, see where everyone's at, make sure we got everyone behind us. Sounds good, I'll meet you there. Greg brought out his brand new Project X build. All right, this thing runs pretty fast. The Rugged General. You're trying to fit something from a 1940s Jeep to a brand new Polaris General. So you've got your work cut out for you. So we got an original grill, we got the original hood off of a 40s Willys, we got the original headlight buckets, and we just took off with the fabrication from that point. So the hood opens up, the windshield folds down. Everything is very true to a Willys Jeep. 
what the general can do, we're going to open it up. This is the most amount of miles we've put on this thing. And you know what? It is an absolute blast. You think he's having a good time? the desert on these trails this general is just doing everything the jeep fits right into where we're going next afton canyon a lot of times people have named it the mini grand canyon uh, just because of the sheer cliffs and just the formations of the dirt and that it's just amazing all the different colors This area is so, so big. So we've been camping out here for 20, 25 years, but we go all different places and you can hit kind of little niches and you never even realize this stuff is here. Well, it's weird because you'll be in an area like this and then next thing you know, you come up over a little rise and then you're down in a canyon and there's just some beautiful stuff, some old mines and that kind of stuff. Really cool stuff to see. All right guys, let's wrap up day one and head back to camp for dinner. Let's go. Let's pick it up. We got to get it back before it gets dark. We need a radio ahead and have dinner waiting for us when we get there. Yeah, it's 9.45. 9.45 right now. Dinner is just getting started. After a long day on the trail. We didn't bring SSB Works along just for the ride. Grab a burrito and get after it, man. Nope. We brought them for the food. I notice I'm getting invited on a lot more trips when I do this. I only invite you when you're going to cook. <laughs> That's all right. But we started a tradition now of an amazing carne asada uh, burrito package that we have. We've got uh, 10 pounds of marinated carne asada getting uh, sizzling up over here. We've got the tunes bumping and just kind of hanging out and getting after it. You guys hungry at all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, OK. How does that look? That looks awesome. We're so hungry. Eat up and get some rest because tomorrow we're off to Tonka Town. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Kicker and SSB Works. Go wherever your music takes you. And by KMC Wheels. Precision for chaos. And by B&W Trailer Hitches, Towing Adventure. And by Polaris Visa Card, Power Your Passion. Earn Polaris cash on all of your purchases. Welcome back to DP. If you make the drive between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, you've probably seen it. Peggy Sue's Diner. We had to get over to Peggy Sue's, which is kind of a landmark for a lot of us as we roll through. Uh, 50s Diner, been there forever. Fantastic breakfast. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty well filled up and good for a great day of riding. I'm stuffed as well. Let's hit it. With rugged, SSV, and assault on board, it's rare to have this many industry guys on one trip. This industry is busy. We're all really busy. Sometimes it's hard for us to get a break and get out and see these things. So when we come out here and do this kind of stuff, this is great. We're not working, well, we kind of are, but uh, it's so much more fun. Because this forces us to group together, go have some fun, and go see something that most of us haven't seen yet. Today's ride kicks off near Calico Ghost Town. And this is a true old ghost town. It's just a cool place because not many of these places exist. We leave from Calico with the plan to visit Wells Cabin in Tonka Town. 
I've heard of them. Uh, some of them seem to be like urban lore. You maybe they don't really exist. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to finding out if we can if we can track them down and uh, check them out. Gotcha copy behind me, Greg. I can see your headlights following us. In the canyons are sections that you can do some rock crawling. We went through a couple tunnels. Then you can go out into the flat desert. And then we're out seeing Joshua trees. That's what's so great about this area. It's not just one type of riding. And there's a lot to see. Even an hour in any direction, it's a completely different riding area, different things to see, different people to run into. So we almost made our way to Tonka Town, which is what, seven? Seven miles west of here. Okay, so we're almost there. Almost there, <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> but you can't go to Tonka Town and not stop here. Got to stop at Will's Cabin. We're about 10 miles north of Calico Ghost Town in the mountains behind it. And if you're out here, it's pretty cool. You got to stop by. Stopping at Will's Cabin, I didn't know what to think. I'm like, I didn't even know this is a place to stop at. So basically, Will's Cabin was built back in 1932. It's just an old cabin that the miners and, and people built back in, in the 30s that somebody actually physically lived in it. It's open to everybody, anybody can come here. You basically take in what you bring out and make sure you leave it as it was and make it nice and clean, but anybody's welcome to stay here. Ah, oh, check this out, huh? Actually, you know what? This isn't as bad as I would have thought since it's, you know, 80 years old. Yeah. It was kind of funny just to come across this canyon and there's this little shack out in the middle of nowhere. It's nice. It's comfortable. You keep warm with a fire. Right. Open up all the windows, get a nice breeze coming through in, in the daytime. We had a couple stand here, different cots, hanging out. Free rent. Free rent. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Pretty cool. Not too bad. Hodads. <laughs> Good burgers. In and out burger, Hodads in San Diego. Boom, boom, boom. All set. Next stop, Tonka Town. Still to come, we continue our search for the elusive Tonka Town. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Brimstone. Camp, ride, and kick back at Brimstone. And by PRP. Seats, harnesses, and storage for your UTV. PRP, built for off-road. And by BF Goodrich Tires, who asks you, are you driver enough? And by Waltons, everything but the meat. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. The Mojave Trail was awesome. Today, we're headed to Tonka Town. Little place, hard to find. When we get there though, we're leaving this guy. You know, I've heard rumor of this Tonka Town, the, this mysterious little whatever it is out in the middle of the desert. It's really, really hard to find because it's really small and out here it's literally like a needle in a haystack. They're right. Finding Tonka Town is turning out to be way harder than we thought. <laughs> You know the only reason why we brought you on this trip, Greg? In case we get lost. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what? That seems to be a pattern of getting lost. Yeah. You guys still back there? When you get on the trail, you get to where your destination is and say, where's Jared? Where's he at? He's lost. You know, that never happens anymore. I'm not lost, but finding Tonka Town? Well, you know, I was afraid this was going to happen. Uh, do you think we're going to find this Tonka Town today? Yeah, let's look around and see if we can find that Tonka Town sometime today. I mean, you've outfitted everybody on this trip with communication so we can all talk back and forth. If someone can't find their way, someone gets lost, that's what this stuff's all about, right? Absolutely. That's why we're here. When we're on the trail and you get to that Y, you can hit the push to talk and say, stay to the left and get to the Y. Well, we found it, that Tonka Town. I can't believe it. No joke. 
Taka Town, you found it? We got the call. I'll be over there shortly. I'm clear off in a different area. You're always off in a different area. It was pretty hilarious when we heard over the radio, I found it! <laughs> that was so perfect. So perfect. So here we are, we're at Tonka Town, and I brought a Tonka vehicle <laughs> that is equipped with rugged SSV works. Fullerton and Assault right on the side right there. Yeah, so. I love it. It's pretty cool. Check that out. pretty awesome. We just need to put really little speakers in it. That's great. I like the rugged logo in the prime position. <laughs> and we're going to now officially place the Destination Polaris Tonka vehicle at Tonka Town. I kid you not, without the radios today. Without the happen. radios, it wouldn't have happened. Happen. All right, so Greg, where are we gonna put this thing? You got Fort Irwin, Metalworks, actual Tonka Town. So in about a week and a half, it'll look like this. <laughs> yes, Lou Tonka Town. You pain in the butt to find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tonka Town was pretty cool. This was pretty cool. Destination Tonka. I like it. Okay. You know what? It's all about finding the destinations, and we found it. And you too can find it <laughs> someday, yeah. sometime. Just don't let Dave show you the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Let's pack up and head home. Time for everyone to get back to work. It's been a lot of fun. The food's been great, the uh, company's been great, and the driving's been amazing out here. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better trips.